Good morning and welcome. You're watching the Comics FX Daily Outlook for Thursday, March 26th. The euro rose 0.50% against the US dollar and closed at 1.0967. Yesterday, data showed that Germany's IFO Business Climate Index rose to the fifth consecutive month to a reading of 107.9 in March, beating market expectations over rise to a level of 1073 suggesting that the growth of the Eurozone's biggest economy rebounded again in the first quarter of 2015. The pair is expected to find support at 1.0915, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.0856. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 1.1023, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.1074. Trading trends in a year today are expected to be determined by Germany's JFK consumer confidence data, scheduled in a few hours. Meanwhile, initial jobless claims data in the US, scheduled later today, would be closely monitored by the market participants. The British pound rose 0.26% against the US dollar and closed at 1.4883, following better than expected BBA mortgage approvals in the UK. Data revealed that mortgage approvals in the UK rose to a five-month high level of 37.31k in February, while market expectations were for the BBA mortgage approvals to climb to 36.65k, thus easing concerns over the health of Britain's housing sector. Separately, the Bank of England policymaker and rate setter Milou Shafiq stated that interest rates in the UK were more likely to rise rather than going down, despite the nation's falling inflation. The pair is expected to find support at 1.4833, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.4784. The pair is expected to find stress resistance at 1.4943, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.5004. Looking ahead, investors await the release of UK's retail sales data, scheduled in a few hours, to get better insights in the nation's economy. The US dollar weakened 0.21% against the Japanese yen and closed at 119.49. The pair is expected to find support at 119.11 and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 118.90. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 119.64 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 119.97. Meanwhile, market participants would keep a close eye on Japan's national CPI and unemployment rate data. The Australian dollar weakened 0.45% against the US dollar to close at 0.7836. The pair is expected to find support at 0.7771 and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 0.7737. The pair is expected to find stress resistance at 0.7873 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 0.7941. Amid no economic releases in Australia today, investor sentiment would be governed by global macroeconomic news. Gold prices traded higher by 0.34% against the US dollar at 11.95.80 per ounce after most global equity markets declined. Gold prices were also supported on the back of weak U.S. durable goods orders data, thus increasing the demand for the safe haven precious metal. Meanwhile, gold holdings in the SPDR Gold Trust edged down to 744.40 tons. The pair is expected to find support at 1190.23, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1181.66. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 1204.03 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1209.26. ComicsFX is now offering a new application. Download the brand new ComicsFX TradeMate app right now and receive daily market information, suggested market directions to trade on, highlighted best trading options and more, covering a wide range of markets including energy, metals, indices and forex, among others. Trade easily, trade successfully. For more information on ComicsFX TradeMate app, kindly visit our main website www.comicsfx.com. Stay in the know by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, circling us on Google Plus, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube and ComicsFX TV channels. Have a great trading day!